that Wix you didn't know about. When you're in the home page, go in brand kit. You can then add your brand colors. They will be easier to access when you create a post. You can insert a video inside a font. Just click on elements, search for iPhone, select the one you want, then upload a video and just drag it inside the font. You can curve your text. Just write some text, click on effect, curve, and voila, you can now follow me for more. In case you didn't know, a lot of YouTubers have outros. So first step, you need to go on Canva, make sure your dimension is 1280 by 720. Find a template off of Google to know the layout. Next, we're going to use a template to add our own square and circles. You can also change a color and add your own background. So here's the finished look. I know there are a lot of you who use Canva for your social posts. And as a designer, I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna give you three really easy tips to help you choose fonts. The first tip, don't use more than two typefaces. Using more than two typefaces makes your design weaker and confusing. Instead, stick to just two. You'll get way better results and your designs will feel much more cohesive. Second, choose what's called a super family. Super families are font pairings that were actually designed to work together and they make choosing fonts mindless. You can usually identify them because they share a similar name. And finally, don't use two serifs or two sans serifs together. Design is all about contrast and choosing two of the same generally doesn't work. Instead, choose just one typeface or pair a serif with a sans serif. How you can start creating own branded Instagram stories. One of the easiest ways to create on branded Instagram stories is to create one of these mood boards like I did in Canva and you can just simply import it in, you keep it on your camera roll, and then when you're building your story out, you just use the color picker along the way to just create that more on branded feel. I also love changing the color of the question box. I think that's a nice touch. And then when you're done with it, you simply how to get a clean, crisp white background. Grab a post board, put it on the top and bottom if need be, and your product, of course. Take a picture using your iPhone or camera. Upload your image to canva.com, go to effects, and then hit background remover, and then there's your professional looking Chris White photograph. Hello fellow entrepreneurs, if you want to know how to make a beautiful, simple, professional email signature in Canva, watch this video. First off, go to canva.com and create a design of custom dimensions, 600 by 300 PX. Add your elements next. I suggest a circle photo frame, a thin line, as well as text in your subheading. When you have your final design, download it as a PNG file. Go to your Gmail, click settings, see all settings. Under signatures, create a new one. Upload your email signature and save the changes. Then insert it into all your future emails. Canva tips, tricks, and hacks, part one. When designing a cover for your Instagram reels, use this square, drag the corners to the edge, on both sides. Make sure it's centered and in the middle to see a preview of what it's going to look like in your feed. Delete before exporting. Okay, I got a few requests. I'm going to be teaching you guys how I created this email. Go to canva.com and create a design. I chose the letter size. Next, go to uploads and select the picture you want as your background. Next, go to Elements and Frames and scroll down until you find the letters. Choose the letters for what you want to spell out. Select them all and resize them. Go to Photos and search for Silver Glitter. You can drag and drop these photos into each letter. Do the same for the next word. Next, hit Animate and I chose the Neon option. Set time for one second. Duplicate the page, add some text, same animation but for 5 seconds, and save in this format. I just learned the biggest game changer on Canva. I used to spend like so long trying to align these and make sure that they were spaced apart, right? All you have to do is go to positions and click tidy up and it will straighten it out for you. 
Here's a super easy hack on Canva that I don't see a lot of people talking about, but Canva has this section called the brand kit where you can upload your brand logo, your brand colors, your fonts, so that when you're creating graphics, you don't have to re-upload them every single time. Let's create a brand color board in Canva for you to easily keep on your camera roll so you can import it into your Instagram stories and use the color picker to start creating on branded stories. So all I do is add in the circle element and then I change it to my brand colors, repeat the process for however many brand colors you have, save it to your camera roll, and voila, there you go. Things you didn't know you could do in Canva, part three. Go to Canva and click presentation. They have all of these different slide templates that you can customize and make your own. This is the coolest part. So click the three dots up here and then go to present and record. Now you can actually record yourself doing an entire slide presentation. Now there's even the option to go live. This is a great low cost way to record webinars or your online course slides. Here's how to make your text look like it's typing in Canva. Open up a new design. Spell a word or phrase by adding a letter to each new page. Select the background and then go up to animate. Fade. Change the timing to 0.3 seconds. And then make sure to do that to each of your pages. And then hit play. Things you didn't know you could do in Canva, part six. Create an interactive and most importantly, shareable Instagram story template. Go into Canva and click Instagram story. Scroll down and you'll see a bunch of interactive story templates. Choose one that appeals to your ideal client or customer. Most importantly, include your handle. Share the blank template on your Instagram stories. Tell people to screenshot, fill it out, repost, and of course, tag you. This should also help increase your engagement. Canva hacks, part six. Go on photos and search PNG. Now you have photos with transparent backgrounds. Now you have realistic looking objects with shadows. Follow for more tips.